Moo, Sea Perils and Defeat. A dozen chapters, halfway through. A half-full belly or a half-empty gesture. Odysseus sets sail again. He sails past the island of the sirens, female sea creatures whose beautiful songs lure men to their deaths on the rocks of their shore. Of course he wants to hear them, wouldn't you? So, he stops his men's ears with beeswax and has them lash him to the mast. And while they can't hear anything, he begs them to cut him loose and let him swim to the sirens. But being loyal, his crew tie him tighter until they are out of earshot and peril. Apparently, their tune was catchy. It had a nice beat, and you could drown to it. Next up, the crashing rocks, those which no ships can survive, so Odysseus avoids them altogether. Instead, he heads for the Scylla and the Charybdis, a monster with six heads who will kill half a dozen of his crew as they pass, or a giant swirling maw of a maelstrom on the other side. Damned if you do, dead if you don't. Captain Utilitarian steers towards the monster, but he doesn't tell his men, you know, that six of them won't need their hats anymore. And just as Circe predicted, six men were grabbed and eaten by the monster, but the rest of the crew sailed through. The anonymous historical general, who first said that there will always be casualties in war, was himself a casualty before he had time to publish his memoirs. Odysseus and his surviving crew of Grecian red shirts land on the island of the sun god, Helios. Finally, a paradise. Odysseus says, don't eat any cows. No enemy in sight, but of course they were their own worst enemy. Then he goes to sleep again. You can't blame him. But he really should have known better. Of course, then his men have a barbecue with Helios's herd of cattle, who then complains to the management on Olympus. When they, uh, when they finally set out to sea again, Zeus sends down a lightning bolt and smites them mightily. Zap! No more ship. Nobody survives. Well, yes. Our hero, also known as Nobody, he clings to some of the ship's wreckage and makes it to Calypso's island. And so, the storyteller has come back to where he started his story. Discuss. If you knew the only way to get out of a situation was to sacrifice something, like the captain did with his men to save all the others, what would it be and why? And today... I'm feeling generous. It could be anything. What would you sacrifice? An arm? A leg? A belief? A prejudice? Your sense of what is left or right and why they're wrong? This plague has taken so many. How many more? Hats? <laughs>